Today we wanted to have a peaceful uh, protest in spite of what happened in Minneapolis, Minnesota and the death of George Floyd. We wanted to come together peacefully, bring people of different races, different ethnicities, uh, denominations, religions together to really um, come together and, and cause police action um, in our own community. So I think this is an issue that is plaguing America. This is America's issue, America's sin, not just black, not just white, but it's an it's a issue that we all got to root out together. I am here today to support our community uh, in an effort to give a positive um, flow, if you will, for you know the anger that some of us are feeling, some of the sadness that some of us are feeling, and I just really feel it's important that we um, you know streamline that so that it's a positive outcome based on the energy that we feel, based on the injustices that we continue to see. Well, first of all, we are the loudest, the boldest, and the baddest organization. You know, the National Association for the advancement of color people has been around uh, for you know over a hundred years at this particular point and we are strong in our resolve to make sure that we end systemic racism which the actions of these officers is a definite product of the systemic racism that continues to perpetuate our communities. No justice! No peace! No justice! No peace! No justice! No peace! No justice. No peace. So what can we learn from George Floyd? What can we learn? from Eric Garner, what can we learn from Trayvon Martin? What can, we can learn is we can't let that happen in our city. And, and the way that we do it is not by being big and bad on Facebook. But the way that we do it is not talking junk about the next church because you mad at church. That ain't the way we gonna get this done. We can't get this done by looking at black and white. And we can't get it done that way by hating on our own brothers. We can't get it done by, by not supporting somebody because grandma and granddaddy didn't like them. We in the Hatfields and McCoys. The only way we can get this done, I'll tell you this. We don't get this done by being colorblind. We get this done by loving each color. Because nobody wants a rainbow just blue.